Hey everybody, Adam with Front Range Storm Contractors here. So I'm going to show you how to do that final cap piece, okay? What you're going to do, you're going to slide it up underneath this piece here, put your two nails right there, and then you're going to cut the shingle right down the center. Then you're going to push it over like that, nail it down there, it's actually going to overlap a little bit there, I don't know if you can see. Um, and then you're just gonna seal that with caulk, okay? Now this caulk is actually clear. Uh, it's the same caulk that I showed you in one of my earlier videos, but it goes on white and it dries clear. Um, that way you can see, you know, if you're missing any gaps or anything. Now, a uh, quick tip on how to get nicely shaped caulk lines. Um, I, I went through and I caulked all of the nails on all of the other vents too and that one had a couple of seams I had to caulk as well but I'm going to show you real quick on this one here's what it looks like before I shape them you know just kind of a button that one's really messy goopy mess kind of on there remember this stuff is waterproof right so it's water um what do they call that phobic hydrophobic so what you're going to do you're just going to wet your finger really good put it on there because then it's not going to stick to your finger either oh and of course it kind of did stick to my finger a little bit there but um maybe i just didn't have it wet enough but that's what you do so you you lick your finger get it wet shape it into how you want it to be to make sure it covers the whole thing and uh, that's how you put the last cap shingle on there and that's a quick tip for uh, making sure that the caulk is exactly where you want it to be alrighty everybody last one for today have a good one